Dude, you did a good job with the Phoenix. Did you generate it with AI or did you get someone uh, on I Fiverr or what? I stole it off of Google. Okay. Do you plan on doing any graphic tees that don't have any text on it? Maybe, I'll do them. Like you're running Facebook ads yet or no? No, not yet. So like I got all the pictures and content and stuff. So I'm gonna make, I have to put the mock-ups on the website. Make, I'm editing the pictures right now. I'm gonna edit the reels and then to start posting them on Instagram. Yo, did you ever do anything with the a design of that um like retro wave Testarosta oh. thing? No, I didn't. I could. I didn't like how it looked. I need to redo that one. Yeah, it's, now, dude, there's way better image AI generators now. Yeah. What is a profit of man to gain the world but lose his soul? Dude, I'd thing. wear this. I'd wear this yeah. so quickly, this, this dude. This is my favorite one. These are not all gonna smell bad shit, dude. Me and the area, all the homies just <laughs> it in the desert. I like how it feels really durable. I like that. Yeah. It feels quality. Personally, though, I like the silky type, like really, really, like smooth, stretchy kind of. Yeah, I don't feel. know what that is. is. That polyester. It's it's. There's a few things. There's like there's one called rayon. There's one. There's like there. You can mix like the normal blends with a little bit of spandex. Mm -hmm. Like there's oh, a yeah, few, spandex. there's a few options to get like the super silky I ones. I gotta find them. But they're like, dude, you can't even find them on like uh, the website. Yeah, you gotta like, like America. Yeah, you gotta go to like somebody that's who knows I, somebody. That's what I thought, yeah. So that would be something So this is like the quality feeling stuff is like, I think the best you're gonna get for now. But like it was like a little bit too low. It needs to be a little bit mm, higher. Uh, yeah, this maybe, is, I don't know. It looks fine to me. Yeah, but when it's on, like it kind of, kind of threw me off. It's a little low. You know what it also is? There's a color imbalance. It's like, this should also be white maybe, because this is so? white. Or maybe maybe like a different color, maybe something to complement this, or maybe like, I, think I don't white know, would be better. but it's like, there's, it's too low heavy. Maybe the text can be raised and it'll fix it. That's what I but think I think there's is. also a it's imbalance a of, I think there's also an imbalance of color. To, For the yeah. amount of times we've all gone caught together, I'm surprised they didn't enact a Rico in the comments. <laughs> there's always us together. Like there's a pattern, bro. Like, dude, I remember. Every yeah, but dude, Zorb specifically in that class was trying to stay away from trouble and not <laughs> and like not be associated. But they're like, nah, he knows the frauds too well. He's out too. Because I remember every time I talked to someone else, they'd be like, you guys did that. They're like, no, we didn't. Like a kushali, like a chandra thing. I went to my RAC room and I ripped up all the shit that we made on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and then the day of RAC, we were like, oh no, it's not this. I'm like, oh sheesh, I wonder that's fucked up. <laughs> Dude, I remember one time. Someone said, like, did you do it? I'm like, no. You know this, the, you know the Kane we had like before Dua class? Yeah. Or Ginan class? You, me, and Afraz were sitting in the front. Do any of y'all remember this? We were yeah, like, I remember. Hey, she called us. You guys told me this, but I don't remember up. this. I don't remember this. Was it like after saying Dua, like all the kids said Dua or whatever? Yeah. I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember being called up. I remember. No, she went on the mic and she's like, Afraz, Zoid, and she pointed at Faye and I was like, and you, what's your name? And Faye sounds like, <laughs> I don't know why you answered the question. <laughs> I was gonna find out anyways. Shahrukh Khan. Dude, if I would have said Shahrukh Khan, bro, that would have been a fucking banger, bro. If I should, I was like, Shahrukh Khan. That would have been legendary. That would have been so funny. Dude, I wish I had the balls I had now then, bro. If I knew but we didn't even down. have free will back then, bro. Dude, but we, no, we, did, we did really good for no free will. Yeah, we did. Just fucking run the stop sign with FaZe. Look at this, bro. Bro, they used to give me so much shit for this. Now Zob, me, and FaZe all just run this shit, bro. But we about to run this one too, watch. Actually, no, we gotta turn here, never mind. The Phoenix represents, um, like, you know the concept of like burning your dead wood? Of like, in order to be the kind of person you wanna be in life, you need to kill your previous self, like in your, like mentally speaking. That falls in line with the Phoenix. As like as uh, as weird as it sounds like it matches with Insatiable, that mm -hmm. falls in line with it. It's like this, it's like it's like anywhere there's a fire, even like a candle, a Phoenix can go into it and escape from any other fire source. So it's like going from a bad environment to a good environment. So it dies and then it gets reborn. It's a cyclical thing. And that's the stories that are told about it, like with that premise, are of like the cycles of life they're like the character arc of life it's like oh you struggle then you come back up then you struggle then you bounce back and you struggle and you bounce back it's like that kind of thing so like maybe the imagery of like a candle in one place and then a candle in another place and the phoenix like pops out of that because that's how they tell that's how they it's the teleportation like in like harry potter but it's reincarnation in greek mythology it's like killing its previous self and then being reborn somewhere else
where there's opportunity. Dude, that's actually crazy. Okay. So it that's, matches yeah. with Insatiable's philosophy in a, in a... You gotta send me this recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What but like, there's, there's, there's a lot of imagery to take from phoenixes. Bro, what you just said is... So like, they don't die. When you kill them, they go up in flames and they reincarnate somewhere else where there's flames. That can be like... There's some imagery to get from that. You know, if you just have it in the back of your mind, in a couple months you'll have some ideas. Yeah, yeah. And that's like the message behind the brain. It's like, mm -hmm. it's never too late to re reborn yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That's shit, that's good shit. Good looks. You're my like, philosophical consultant. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I mean, it's like, like, fucking You're the crazy thing. consultant? That you'd have to pay millions for from somewhere else, yeah, dude. Literally, yeah, you are that. You're like the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Wait, pretend I'm a little kid and you're the Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna try to raise it. Everyone's shocked and I'm just like, oh. Dude, who could have seen that? Who, who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? Dude, I'm gonna dress up as a Dalai Lama for Halloween. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, go to I'm kids. I'm gonna go to a kid's career day as the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Any hobbies that have like like uh, communities with their own memes, their own for you pages on TikTok, like a target to market to, where you can go to like, oh, this is an influencer of that community that I can get them to wear my clothes. Rap, like music, right? Wouldn't that be one? Yeah. Like getting rappers to wear your shit. Yeah. But like, what? What else? What else? Or is rap? Is rap like just something that's like on the horizon just because it's there? Just because I, like I think like that's I, got what we're in? I got many hobbies like to target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. So, so you know, cars, vocalize them. So you cars, rappers. Okay. Um, but cars is in like what? Because like. Are you gonna sponsor, like, are you gonna get, like, fucking, you know... I wanna do, like, car-related collections. Okay, okay. Like, the need for speed. Let's say you were to sponsor influencers, right? What communities would you go for? Are you you're gonna sponsor would, fucking TJ Hunt or some shit? No, nah, I wouldn't sponsor anybody. If I'm paying somebody, it'd be like... Okay, they, yeah, yeah. Okay, paying somebody to wear it. Paying somebody to wear it. It could be TJ, but, like... Like, what are you thinking? If you were to... It's rappers. Rappers? It's just models. <laughs> like, IG influencers, like... Okay. Who are, like, within the same... You should, if you do rappers, also do producers. Because, you know... Like, the, the more hardcore guys appreciate the producers a lot. Nelk and Bayon Levine and those guys... Cause you can you can get connected so connected in that community. I can have Steve will do it and all that stuff. You can like if you focus on the kind of thing, you could make it happen. Is that something you're interested in them doing though, or if they wear it, I want it to be natural that they wear it. Like, okay, it. okay. Honestly, is anybody with who does fly shit? Okay. And, like has like she's not a normie basically. Wi-Fi money like our generation, like our age group. The people that are like with the shit wear it, and then all the normies copy. So what happens then? What's the game plan? I'll figure that out then. You should think about it though. You should think about it beforehand. The thing is, is like when Norby's wearing it, stop wearing it. Because the brand was just trendy. You don't want to go for trends. You just want to yeah, build yeah. like a long-term audience. Of course you want to like... No, but Normies will wear your brand if hella people that are like real as fuck all wear it. Which is the which is the plan. I think that's good. I'll figure that out later. Okay. That'll probably happen. I'll talk about that later. Because a lot of brands get to that point and then they fuck up and they alienate their core audience by like trying to appeal to normies and whatever, you know? I read about them. I'll just stick to doing whatever the fuck I want to do. Okay. That's just my whole thing with the brand. Okay. Like, I'm only going to do what I want to do. Yeah, if you, don't, if you don't let the money change it, then yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to let the money change it.